Hello everyone, I'm Sun Yifan from Waseda University. Today I will be presenting about the CAFM, a 3D morphable model for animals. First, let's get into the background. As we know, 3D reconstruction has always been a difficult goal in computer vision. Uh, and at the same time, there are wild applications of 3D reconstruction in many areas, including computer graphics, computer animation, computer vision, and so on. And as for, as for animals, the detection, checking, and analysis of various animals play an important role in biology, neuroscience, ecology, farming, and entertainment. There are many works have been done in learning realistic 3D models. The task has achieved good results in the human face and body. On the other hand, there are few models constructed on animals. The main reason is that the best human models are learned from thousands of 3D scans of people in specific poses and expressions. The fact that animals are much less cooperative than humans leads to a lack of 3D scans. They don't listen to the instructions from people. And a huge diversity of human ta uh, animal types causes 3D reconstruction more challenging. Fortunately, as we know, the same family animals share similar face geometry and head shape. So in this study, we mainly concentrate on one type of animal, cat-like animal. Uh, first, let me introduce a classic 3D statistic model, 3D morphological model. We also call it 3D MM, uh, which can perfectly answer the small sample data set problem. The basic assumption of 3D MM is that New faces and expressions can be modeled by forming linear combinations of prototypes. For example, my face can be regarded as a combination of my parents. So as I said, cat-like animals belong to the same family, share similar face geometry. Therefore, the 3D MM can be applied in cat-like animal face reconstruction applications. To build a 3D morpho model, we need a sample set with a large variety of cat-like animal face shapes. Due to the larger appearance variations of animals compared with human beings, the samples should be representative. Here, we manually created 3D meshes of cat face in ZBrush, which is an application for designing the 3D models. The created cats include American short hair, Persian cat, British short hair, and so on. The sample set for our model consists of 50 samples. Besides the cat samples I have mentioned, it also, it also includes big cats like lion, puma, tiger, which are collected from SMAL model. These samples are dense correspondence. The semantically corresponding vertex, such as the nose tips, owns the same index in every mesh. And after normalization, we estimate a scaling factor, so animals from different backgrounds are comparable in size and frontal and in frontal view. Although the mass structure consists of vertices, edges, and triangles, we present the geometry of a face with a shape matrix S that contains the x, y, z coordinates of its n vertices. There are two steps to build the parametric model. The first step is to find the average shape of face. We denote it as S bar. Then find the eigenvector SI. The new shape is based on the average shape of face, can be characterized by the value assignment of shape parameters 
alpha. And here, PCA is used in the step two uh, to increase the exp expressiveness by dividing faces into independent subregions. Okay, let's visualize the CFM. The average shape of face is shown on the left side and the eigenvector is shown on the right side. Then we can give a set of shape parameters that activate every single principal component. The new shape of face can be generated by equation by the equation. Uh, we can observe the new shapes are different from each other and the deformation is quite reasonable. So this also proves the expressiveness of CFM. Um, one of the cool tasks of computer vision is matching the 3D model to a 2D image. If I have an input image, how could I find the specific shape parameters to, find, to match the 3D model to it? Or let me put this another way. How to minimize the difference between the 2D images and the 3D model? It should be noted that the image it is in the 2D plane and the model is in the 3D space. The easiest way is that maybe we can take a photo of the 3D model. Then the 3D face can be projected onto 2D image space. When it comes to photo, we can think of the pinhole camera. And here, we make use of a simplified projection model, weak perspective projection. Suppose relative depths of points on the object are much smaller than average distance. In the equation, S is the scale factor, PR is the orthographic projection matrix, R is the rotation matrix constructed from page, row, uh, yard angles, T2D is the translation matrix. These parameters are defined as projection parameters. The problem is, even though we project the 3D model to 2D plane, we cannot compare every pixel in the, pix in the images. So here, we make use of landmarks. Uh, in the human face area, these 68 landmarks are widely used. And in our case, we define 15 landmarks, including eyes, nose, mouth, and ears in the input images. And due to the dense correspondence of our model CFM, we can find the corresponding vertices in the 3D model. We denote the 3D landmark matrix and transform it with projection parameters. After projection, the 3D landmarks are projected into onto 2D images. We also denote the labeled landmarks in the input image as UI. The corresponding projected landmarks of 3D model as U. Then we can use the following objective functions to estimate parameters. These parameters including, include shape parameters and projection parameters. Matching 3D shape to an input image is an ill post problem. The regularization appended here is to add information in order to solve the ill post problem and prevent overfitting. Um, by minimizing the difference between 2D labeled landmarks in the input image and the projection of 3D landmarks in the model, we can estimate the shape parameter and projection parameters. Um, we First, initialize the shape parameter and projection parameters and optimize them alternately in every iteration. In a loop, the algorithm generates a projection from the current parameters and updates them. The landmark matching process is summarized here. Uh, through the mentioned algorithm, given CAT images and multiple model CFM, 
we can generate 3D reconstructions of input CAD images with projection parameters and shape parameters. In the experiment, we use a dataset includes 10,000 CAD images with 15 landmarks. This in the wild CAD face images without collecting, collecting 3D face scans are near the frontal veil. Uh, the generated 3D face almost reproduced the input image from the position to its identity. Uh, the cat-like animal face data set containing 10,000 pairs of 2D face images with 15 landmarks and 3D face meshes with projection param parameters is open source and can be found in my GitHub. Finally, it's a conclusion. First, to fill up the blank of 3D reconstruction of animal face, we propose the multiple model CFM. Then, to match the con constructed linear face model to input images, we describe a method matching the model to 2D data and obtaining the shape parameter and projection parameters. Finally, to enable the, the fitting process of CAFM, we enhance the data uh, CAT image database containing 2D face images and 15 landmarks in pairs. That's all. Thank you. Um, I'm sorry that I can't attend due to the current travel circumstance. Uh, hope you guys have a great time. Thank you.